Today's Essential is explaining event effects in Studio One and I'm going to do that today using this orange audio file at the bottom which is just a snare hit, sounds like this. So I'm going to show you how we can enable event effects. So once I've selected the part that I want to put event effects on, I can press the I key command which pulls up the inspector. Roll over to this button that says enable, click that. You're going to get a drop down and in this drop down is an area where you can drag and drop your effects from the browser or you can do it straight in the inspector using the plus sign. So from here I want to put maybe a beat delay. So let's see how this sounds. Okay that sounds cool so I want to put a reverb. Let's see how this sounds. So cool, I've got a beat delay and a reverb. Maybe I want to put a Pro EQ on there as well. So cool, I'm happy with that. I've got my free effects onto this one snare at the moment. So from here with event effects, what you can do is you can render it in place. You roll back over to the menu and event effects button will now change to render. So if you render it, it will just render it the size that it is now. But in my case, I've got a lot of uh, plugins on there or two plugins on there that need a tail. Just underneath the button, it says tail. Let's change this to four seconds. And when I render, it's going to give me a nice smooth fade out as well as the effects printed onto the audio file. So let's see how this sounds. So cool, that's how it sounds. But what if I wanted to change something? Can I go back? The button now changes to restore. So if you used to click restore, it will bounce back the file that was in there previously and it will show you all the plugins that were there before. So maybe, maybe I want to put a flanger. Okay, cool, that's the sound that I wanted. So I'm gonna render this down again now. And there we go. Now another thing as well is that you can completely disable event effects as well. So let's say I've got all these plugins on this event effects, I've completely changed my mind, I want to take event effects off of the audio file. So you can do that as well. So there's a little arrow here, a little drop down, once you click that, if you go all the way to the bottom, it's going to say remove all. Now the button at the top is changed to disable, so once you click disable, event effects is off and you're back to square one. 